Hey everybody, how you doing? Good. Uh, I want to talk about uh, what do you call uh, a hacker. It's a word called hacker. H e k a. Okay. Hacker is a word of power. Okay. Now, uh, some people may call it a magical word. Okay. A word of power, magical word, so forth and so on. But quite often when people hear something like this, they hear of this negative word, I mean, excuse me, not negative word, but they hear of this word of power. You say, is he, is somebody with this word going to use this word against us? A magical word? People may think that. They may get that feeling when they hear the word of power because they quite don't understand it. They understand what power, power. It could be used against us. <laughs> but, no, it's not for that purpose, really. You don't use hecka against people, not really. You know what I mean? An individual using hecka, okay, uses the word or the words spoken or actually the sounds made, okay, to, to, uh, to get rid of the negative energy within himself. That's what it's. That's what it's about. So and we know that uh, we can sing and do certain things and feel pretty good. Uh, singing can do it, you know. When you feel pretty good, you then got rid of the negative energy. Oh, you reduced it neutralized it. So you now you're feeling this positive energy from singing, okay, which is sound, okay? So now, why do people have to do this? Well, I mentioned negative energy, you know what I mean? But we want to get rid of it. Well, how do we get it? Well, we, it seems like we are born into it, okay? We are. You know what I mean? And so uh, we're born with what we call the ka. K-A, that's sort of like a spirit, you know? A soul. Okay? So anyway, we're born with this. Not only that, we are born into the underworld. Well, wait a minute. What you mean the underworld? You know what I mean? This flesh body. This flesh body. Okay, we say it's the underworld. But within this flesh body, there's like buried the true self. The real individual. And that's pretty clear. When, when we think of certain, well, when we're talking about ourselves, we might talk about our leg. I say, my arm. I would say, my head. I would say, my leg. I might even say my heart, my lungs, this. But who am I? In our everyday language, we're not thinking about who am I, really. It's my hand. In other words, it's not me, it's mine. It's my possession. You see, so there must be, what I gotta say, the other self. Okay. And so there's an inner being, okay? And this is inner being is what we should, well, we need to cultivate. Oh, we cultivate this. We can cultivate this body such that it is in harmony with that true being, our true self. You know what I mean? But the negative energy gets in the way. So we come up with ways to, like, to, like I say, to neutralize the negative energy. Oh, yeah, you know? So we have to feel, well, just, what is this negative energy? Because a lot of times people love to do certain things. They just love to do certain things that are negative. They love to do certain things that bring on negative energy in the body. They love to do these things. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
And getting rid of these things that they love is the sacrifice. That is the sacrifice. The sacrifice is to get rid of something that you really care about and something that you really love. You, when you find out that it brings in negative energy, that's when you, when you say, wait, wait a minute, and maybe I ought to stop doing this. And maybe I ought to stop doing that. And maybe this is why I have those negative thoughts. It's because I'm doing things that bring in negative energy. But here before, they had, they had loved these things. Uh, they, their life was based on it. They thought that, well, doing these things is actually living life. It was just the opposite. It's bringing in negative energy. So we say, well, positive energy is really the thing where we're going to live life. You know what I mean? So anyway, well, let's get back to the word hecka. You know what I mean? So hecka is, 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 is the word. It's a word of power. Uh, you know what I mean? No, it's not going to do harm to anyone. You don't use it against people. I don't even know whether you can do that. Yeah, well, you don't want to do it anyway. You're wasting your time and energy. You want to use Hekka, those words of power, to get rid of negative energy within yourself. We all carry negative energy. But sometimes it goes too far. It just takes over everything. We want to avoid that. We want to neutralize it. So now... There are certain gods called the Word, okay? There was a Kemite god called, uh, he's a child of the mother at this point, so he's a child god, and so he's called the Word, you know what I mean? And so for our Christian brother, brother and sisters, there's Jesus. Jesus is called the Word, okay? So Jesus used words of power. To reduce or neutralize negative energy within himself. The same thing with the other child God. The child God, though, you gotta remember that the child God is a child of the mother, not the father. So how is that, you know? Well, that takes us back, you know what I mean? Well, to the first humans, really. Remember, mythology is derived from the natural fact. When we go back to the first humans, we're still, we're still talking natural fact. We're not talking hocus pocus. We're talking like things that the ancient folks did, you know what I mean? What happens to... Uh, uh, what they did are components of the mythology. As a matter of fact, the whole mythology, once it was written up years later, oh, it wasn't that long ago when it was written up. Oh, maybe, <laughs> you know, about five, six, seven thousand years ago, maybe, you know. <laughs> it was when it was like, probably it was written up then. I know the Kimite priests had something to do with it. But they did it, okay? But we don't know how far back, really, the Kimites extend. We know we say 7,000 years, but that can be explained. It was for longer. They were earlier than that, you know what I mean? 7,000 years is just when the Kimite civilization took off again, okay? And it didn't end until uh, the Persians, the Assyrians invaded, and, and then the, <clears throat> the Greeks and the Romans and all that stuff. It was over then. They yeah, did their 7,000 years, okay? But before then, they lived, you know. According to the, you know, the Bible, I guess, and other right religious literature, or the history, it gives the Kimites like uh, 7,000 years, 6,000 years, with the first king, the first dynasties. They weren't really the first dynasty, but that's what the folks say, because the folks can't go any further back than that, okay? History don't take them back further, okay? So anyway, so we see now Hecka is the word of power. That an individual uses to neutralize the negative energy. This neutralization of negative energy brings in positive energy. 
okay? <clears throat> Which uh, helps us in this world of mortality, the world of ups and downs, okay? It, it helps us uh, deal with uh, the negative vibrations that we, we receive from uh, the cosmic energy, which always comes into the earth every, all the time. The earth receives this cosmic energy, and sometimes the cosmic energy is negative, and sometimes it's positive. And so, you know, we're always receiving this negative energy, and therefore we always have to do the rituals in order to, uh, uh, let's say, purify. That is, to get rid of the negative energy. That's purification, you know what I mean? And so it, it, purification comes in other words other than sound. But sound does it, okay, because sound travels throughout the body. But the thing is, the person must produce positive sounds. A lot of the words in a religion uh, are negative, <laughs> like the word no, the word not, and nay, and these are negative. So when you speak negative words, you bring on negative energy. Negative criticism brings in negative energy to the person who's uh, speaking the words. Negative energy, saying something negative about somebody or whatever. Negative criticism, you know what I mean? Uh, brings in negative energy to the person. Or well, maybe the energy is already there because he's speaking the words. They're coming from within. Well, how do we get rid of this negative energy, you know what I mean? Can we speak positive words all the time? It would be difficult, you know what I mean? But yeah, so the hecka is said to be, uh, brings in positive energy, it's positive, okay? This is why it's associated with, uh, with the, 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 the child gods, like Jesus, etc. So, so Jesus evidently uses the word uh, even to purify himself. Because remember, he's a child of the mother. He's a manifestation of her until he reaches age 12. When he reaches the age of puberty, 12 or 13, then he is producing semen, which is supposed to be positive, hence the stone, okay? The stone that the builders overlooked, those who were building the temple. Semen, okay? So now, you know, when uh, David killed Goliath, he used a stone. The stone here in the mythology is equivalent to semen. The semen is the stone, it is the rock, it is the rock of ages, etc. We're talking about the, the male reproductive hormone because we're talking about a, a, a religion that is dominated by males at this point in time. It wasn't always that way, but it is now. <laughs> and it has been this way for quite a while, you know what I mean? They don't mention too much about the mother, the queen, who, the, the, the mother of heaven, the mother, it was a mother and a child. This is, this comes from the natural fact, this mother and child, this comes from the natural fact. But anyway, let's get back to this purification thing. So when David slew Goliath, he did it with purified semen, the, the stone. Goliath with negative energy. So this is how it gets rid of the negative energy. It's just another way of doing it. You know what I mean? So they say the god, child god Haru, uh, killed the, the devil. They called him Set. They killed the devil uh, with a phallus. Well, the phallus represents semen. So it's a matter of purification. You know what I mean? And so the word, Heka, can be used to do that because it can produce positive sounds. Okay, folks, I'll talk to you. Get, get, get back with you. All right, bye.